How's it going, YouTube? I think I started the recording, I don't know. Wearing the Sprite shirt again. It's clean, I promise. I cleaned it, promise. Um, but yeah, first short vlog. I, this one's gonna be under 10 minutes, guaranteed. Um, so today's topic is modding, modding users. And uh, yeah, this is uh, necessary at virtually every single level of Twitch uh, streaming. No matter how small you are, I still think you should have at least one mod that shows up. Um, so, pretty much, if, for those of you that don't know, a moderator is a trusted user. They're there to enforce the rules to make streaming easier for you. So, let's say you speedrun, or you play competitive games, or you're just really into the game, and you don't really want to be um, pausing. You know, you definitely want to have a good set of mods there to, uh, you know, deal with the trolls if they show up. Because it only takes one person to ruin a chat room. And, uh, yeah, you don't want to be pausing if you're playing a game of StarCraft or Dota or League of Legends. And you definitely don't want to be pausing when you're speedrunning as well. Because that will waste time. So... It's definitely important to have at least one mod at every single stage of streaming. Um, so yeah, how I pick mods will be different from how you pick mods, obviously. But uh, I'll share what I look for in mods, so maybe that'll help you figure out what you want to do. Um, so yeah, I pick mods that I trust, obviously. Uh, I said it in the definition. Uh, and I make sure that they don't break the rules ever. Uh, if they know the rules inside and out, they should know uh, when someone's breaking the rules. So if they follow the rules, they'll know uh, generally if someone's breaking it. Um, make sure that they frequent the stream. Someone there that's, that's there virtually every day is uh, a great candidate, of course. You want people that are there, not people that aren't there. And uh, you also want these people to be friendly and uh, people that you generally get along with. And yeah, um, I will say there are people in my chat that uh, aren't mod that meet every single one of these requirements. But uh, the reason that I don't mod them is because I don't need to. <laughs> I already have a set of mods that I trust and that frequent the stream enough to the point where I don't really need to add any more mods. As the stream grows, I will add, I will add more. And this brings me on to the next topic. And uh, there is such a thing as too many mods. Um, let's go to the just extreme. Let's say you mod everyone. If you mod everyone, then that's as if you haven't modded anybody, because mods can't ban each other. So if you mod every single person that comes into your stream no rules can get it enforced just everyone's just capable you're the only person that could ban them at that point it's just pointless to mod everybody it's you might as well just not mod anybody so at the extremes there is definitely you definitely don't want no one modded and you definitely don't want everyone modded so you need to have a nice mix and um I would say you want to keep it to less than half of the people watching you, for sure, uh, because you don't want people to feel excluded. If the the majority of your viewer base is modded, um, people that aren't mod are going to feel uh, excluded from that, maybe, or probably bug you about being mod all the time. Um, another thing, it's it's um, it's hard to keep track of everybody when you have too many. You want to uh, be able to give them information about what you want. You want it to be, you know, a nice easy process. The more people there are, the more people you have to, um, you know, organize with. I, I don't know what the word. More people you have to communicate with and more people you have to deal with to some extent. Um, rogue, mod, rogue mods happen. Um, that'd be like maybe someone gets their account hacked or maybe they just dislike you and they start banning people um, it's it happens it happens to big channels it can happen to anybody with the risk of hacking but uh, 
yeah, what I would suggest to deal with that is to just show mod activity in your chat room. So let's say I timed someone out, it'll say timed out for blank seconds by Dupian. So you know exactly who it is, you can deal with it right away um, by yourself. <clears throat> so I do make exceptions for people that I mod occasionally. Uh, not very often, it's very rare, but uh, well-known streamers, people that I respect, I I give mod. Uh, it's only been a few times. Um, I do it as a sign of respect. I see no harm in it. I don't do it often. Um, and let's say that they're like kind of backups if they're there. And uh, like if I did need them to mod, they're well-known streamers. They should know like uh, how to moderate, I guess. So I'm sure they could help. I don't know. I, I don't see any harm in it. Like I said, you can mod people how you want. I'll mod people how I want. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is all just advice from my personal experience in terms of modding people. Uh, now on the other end of this end of the spectrum is demodding people. Um, and it is necessary at times. Uh, let's say that someone just doesn't show up ever again or they're just not there often. You don't want to keep them modded because if your rules change and uh, you have no way of telling them, they'll come back and then just think the old rules are still there and then mess something up and then you have to deal with unbanning someone. It's just a hassle. Uh, so, you know, as long as you're um, transparent about it and you're vocal and you let them know, like, yeah, you know, I had to demod you because of whatever, um, I'm sure they'll understand, you know. Uh, sometimes they don't come back at all, and that's their choice. It's it's whatever. Um, but yeah, if they don't show up as much, definitely consider, you know, maybe picking somebody else, replacing them with someone else that is more trustworthy, um, someone that knows the rules better, maybe. Uh, occasionally, you gotta demod people for just literally not modding. They just, you mod them and then they just don't do anything. So uh, occasionally you gotta do that. Um, some people just don't wanna be mod. So it's always good to ask before you mod someone. Say, hey, I'm considering modding you. Are you okay with that? You don't wanna just mod them and be like, surprise, now you have responsibility. Cause a lot of people don't want that responsibility. They just wanna sit back and relax. They don't wanna feel obligated to ban someone or do something um, extra. Maybe they just want to chill and watch most of the time. Um, so yeah, don't be too quick to mod someone and don't be too quick to demod someone. Uh, make sure to talk to people, communicate. These are people you're going to be working with uh, to help grow your channel. So yeah, that's, that's my advice for modding. Um, I don't really have a topic planned for next week. I'm sure I'll figure it out this week, but uh, yeah, that's really it. Thanks for watching. Eight minutes, 40 seconds, pretty good. Short, definitely. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys this week with some speedrunning and some new games. Take it easy.